What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty, and I'm back with another video. Ugh. I have a question. Um, Doesn't look like the covenant fared much better than you did. Is it too soon to start the discussion of Hi. next generation, PlayStation Five, or Xbox Scarlet? Is it too soon? It seems like, not seem, but normally, towards the tail end of the generation, you get some of the best games. You got Division 2 coming out. You got Anthem coming out. We've seen Cyberpunk 2077, The Last of Us 2, Gears of War 5, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, you know, Death Stranding. E3 2018, Bethesda hinted uh, Starship Citizen, a next generation game from them already. It was last E3. Microsoft came out, and, you know, said that they're working on multiple Xboxes. You know what I mean? Then we just got the X in 2017. Um, we had the also come out from the, you know, Sledgehammer, I believe it was the Infinity War, one of them, whoever they nearly alternate, you know. That their next Call of Duty uh, 2019 or whatever the case is for next generation consoles. Like, damn, you know? This generation started in 2013. Been here day one. Early, I've always been an early adapter. You know, adopter, I'm sorry. I got the Pro in 2016. I got the X in 2017. Am I ready for a new console already? I had a conversation with Jay and Porter Rock and Post and F. I said that um, both Microsoft and Sony, right? Outside of me doing YouTube and me keeping up with the latest tech and give you guys my opinion on it, running, uh, you know, my channel, you know. But Microsoft and Sony are going to have to sell me on it day one. I never thought I'd be saying this. Like I'm fine with what I got. I'm fine from what, what I got, you know what I mean? They're going to have to sell me on it. What I mean by that is when they finally announce them or show them off or what they're going to show, I got to be visually impressed. I know that, hey, you know what? That couldn't be done on older hardware or previous hardware, whether the X or the Pro. This looks better than anything I've seen coming from those consoles. And you're looking at games like The Last of Us 2. It seems like, you know, I'm like, damn, are we already at, have we, have we hit a, a ceiling when it comes to far as visual? I'm like, like God damn, you look at games like Anthem and, or, or Cyberpunk 2077, like, damn, like, you know, what's next, photorealistic? Like, you know what I mean? I'm just looking, like, I don't think, like, I'll be I'm honest with you, like, the first time I played Gears of War, me running, get my first chance or kill or running up the steps, I was like, oh my God, I didn't get no better than that, and then. Before I exceeded that, you know, by far. And again, you know, what they showed, what Sony showed it this year's E3, people say, you know what? That got to be running on the PlayStation 5. And did you, the Foundry came out and confirmed that it was running on the Pro or looking at God of War. Like, damn! You know? You know? Phil did hint that, you know, I mean, as far as the next generation of hardware, uh, frame rates will be the focus. So I think mandatory, we should all be expecting. 60 frames, you know, as you know, like, more. plus you got more powerful, you know, mobiles with the Ryzen is very cheap and very affordable. This generation, we had the Ray, Ray, Ray anemic Jaguar core processors, you know, I mean, mobile chips, you know, I mean, but again, what they show has to blow me away. Now, I know when game, when the generation starts out, things are a little slow and they don't have um, they don't have uh, you know the big burners. You know everything starts a little slow, and I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? I understand what that means, but again, they're gonna have to just initially for me to get get on board. I know the games are coming. Um, they have to show me like this. Damn, this again couldn't be done on previous hardware. I need to be blown away. Especially to go out there and get me another 
I'll just say five hundred dollars from Sony or five hundred dollars from you know Microsoft buying a new console. Like you know. You know, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it's too soon? Do you feel it's too soon to be talking about mid gen or the next generation? I know Point Rock was saying, you know, he's ready because he didn't get a pro, he didn't get an X, he has standard 2013 hardware, so he's cool with getting uh, in 2019 the generation starting over 2019. For those of you that went out and bought a pro, for those of you that went out there and bought the X. Do you feel it's like it's too soon to be talking about next generation already? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. Let's look at this. Look at this right here. Like this is like Jesus. We're talking about moving past this right here. Look at this. Look at the moss on this tree. Like damn. And again. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is it too soon to be talking about next generation? Are you ready to make that jump forward? No. This is your boy, Next Gen 720. If you yet to subscribe, please do so. The like button, subscribe, and um, yeah, we all do. Uh.